Courtney from the Children's Museum of Naples, and I'm here today to give you a little taste of our Mini Wonders workshop. Mini Wonders is a workshop for children ages 2 to 5 to build their kindergarten readiness skills. Today, we'll be featuring a book called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin Pictures by Betsy Lewin. We'll also be doing two activities, one to help our little friends with their fine motor skills, and another to help them with their letter recognition. Click Clack Moo Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin Pictures by Betsy Lewin. First, looking at our picture, what do we think this book is going to be about? What kind of animals can you spot? We see some cows, we see a duck, we see a chicken, and something that might look similar to one of your parents' laptops. This is called a typewriter. Our cows and our other animal friends are writing a letter. Let's see what they're writing about. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Cl clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown, no electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed, no milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown in the background. He heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got a, his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. 
The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end. Now it's time for our activities to go along with our story of Click Clack Moo Cows at Type. Our first activity is going to work on our little friend's fine motor skills, along with a few letter recognition skills as well. So for this one, we're using very few materials. We have some letter cards, we have some Play-Doh, and then just a simple keyboard. For our first activity, we're going to focus on the letter cards and the Play-Doh. For the letter cards, we simply have them printed and laminated. If you do not have access to a laminator, you can always print the letters out on your at-home printer and stick them in a gallon size Ziploc bag. That allows your child to work with the letters over top of the bag without creating a mess. If you don't have a printer, you could also just write the letters on a white piece of paper and again, stick it in that Ziploc bag. So we're going to be working with the letter C. C for cat. First, you want your child to rip off a small portion of their Play-Doh. The first fine motor skill you want them to work on is rolling out the Play-Doh. They're going to roll it out on the table. They can roll it out between their hands. You can even have them use a rolling pin for more of that fine motor. Once you have it rolled out into a long snake looking object, you can simply have them place it on the letter and all around to make the shape of their letter. So, another fun activity to have them do with the Play-Doh and the letters is again, you rip off a small portion of your Play-Doh. Then you can rip off even smaller portions and create balls out of the Play-Doh. These can then be placed on the letter instead of the snakes and create balls all the way to form the shape of the letter like so. If your child needs a little bit more of a challenge, you can always have them try to do this without the letter. Build the letter recognition and even recognizing the shape of each letter. In our previous videos, you will find our recipe of how to make our Play-Doh at home instead of buying, buying that store-bought Play-Doh. Our next activity is using our keyboard. Right here, we just have a simple keyboard that we unplugged from one of our computers. You could use a laptop, a computer, anything that has a keyboard. Just make sure that computer's turned off so your children don't go on the websites or internet, anything like that. So we just have our simple keyboard. You could always start by asking the children what they recognize on this keyboard. Do they recognize any letters, numbers, even some arrows? Ask them what they recognize. Ask them what they know. Then you can move in to asking your child to find certain letters. Ask them to find C for cow. Ask them to find the letters within their names. Ask them to find letters within your names. Common items like that. Your child can go find the letter, press the letter, and move on to the next one. That is all for our simple activities to go along with Mini Wonders. You can check the calendar on netcommand.org for future Mini Wonders workshops and sign up there to come and join us for some fun while we learn. Thank you for watching and keep on playing and learning at home.